Hello YouTube. Another cold day. It's probably about 15 degrees outside. If it's that. Still cold winter time. Uh, we've got our wedge in here which is walnut. We got some epoxy on it. We, and this was kind of sloppy so we epoxy this handle in here. Because we did kind of make a mistake when we made it. So we got it taped up. We're ready to stain. Here's kind of a sample block. Uh... Kind of in this area, I sprayed some clear spray just to test it. Because I want to make some little picture things so we were experimenting. But it kind of looks black, brownish. Uh, we did sand it right through here. Of course, this hasn't sanded with fine sandpaper either. You can tell it's rough. You can't really see the grain. But just a test block. Uh, this is the brand I'm using. I picked this over the other brand. Uh, Minwax because a lot of those had sealer in it. We do not want sealer in here. This is black cherry I'll take a picture of it uh, We're gonna put this on here and see what it looks like and then we're gonna wait two hours We'll be back and we'll show you what it looks like and then we'll put the oil on it uh, We're just gonna put some linseed oil on it. So this is a eight fluid ounce half pint Cost around about average of five dollars at a Menards home improvement store. So that's not too bad. I mean, I can do a lot of handles and stuff with this. So I'm gonna do some, like I said, little those little wall plaques. You take a piece of wood and put a picture on it. You glue it on with adhesive. Then you on the stained wood, and then you put clear coat or varnish over it. I prob you've probably seen them, like oval shaped, different shapes. So we got some arts and crafts coming up here in the future. So got this taped off. We don't want to get any stain on the paint. It's just flat black paint. Uh, we've never put an edge on this. Uh, we just cleaned it up, painted it, put away in our toolbox for years. And I have a video on this handle. I don't know what it's called, whether it was Sunday in the shop, what it was. Where it was kind of ugly looking and I reshaped it, put some style to it, thinned it out. It fits me just right. I like it. It's a branch. It's a branch off a mulberry tree. So, big surprise what it's going to look like. So, Enough talking, we don't want a big long video on something this simple, so stay tuned, we'll bring you back when it is stained, the stain is dried, and we'll put the oil on right in front of the camera here, so stay tuned, we'll be back. Okay, we're back, it's been two hours, this is not what I expected. Uh, a lot of it came off, it was darker, reddish, whatever darker, but... Uh, I had oiled this, but I did put rubbing alcohol in here a whole lot and wiped it off and wiped it off and then re-sanded with 220 before I put the stain on. But, we're going to go with it, okay? Because this is a, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a light colored wood. So, here we go. We're going to put some oil on and see what it looks like. Because we're going with it. It's just a tool. It's not for show or nothing. Trying to get it poured here. Hands get to be down towards the bottom. That's old. Put some oil on here and see what happens. I have a feeling that it's just going to take the stain back off. I really do. So. Yep. I think what I did was having the oil on here before you're never going to get it out of the wood so it was an experiment I'll put that in the description wood staining experiment that oh that's coming off we'll get another clean rag and we'll see what it does ah this was like a, a fitted bed sheet I have the other one on my chair uh it was good to me. Uh, I had him in my truck just for like a pillow all watered up and fold up like a armrest pillow in my truck. So said even though it's a fail, uh, it was a try because we're not going to let it sit overnight. I don't think it's going to soak in and dry like we think. So there we go. Like I said, nothing like this type of wood. Uh, this is like poplar. I'm sure it's poplar. They made cheap furniture out of this stuff. If people looked at it, they'd probably be able to tell. See the grain and everything, the color. Cheap uh, lumber they made furniture out of. So, yeah, 
I just actually took it back off, left some down in the grain, which we're going to go with it. I mean, you use this, it gets darker and darker uh, from oiling over the years. At least don't have that yellow mulberry look uh, that I didn't wipe off so much. But, I guess we that's how we learn, right? I'm going with it. It's just a tool. I do have to sharpen it. Maybe in a Sunday in the shop video, I'll show you. Of course, I've showed you how I file and draw a file like an edge on a axe or something on my other boy's axe. And that's how I'll do this. It's going to be a tool. It's not going to be used for fine cutting. But there you go. Maybe I'll just call the video staining, experimenting with stain on a hatchet handle, wood handle or something. So, there we go. That's what we get. I did take a picture just before I did anything. Uh, probably was laying on this red towel here. I gotta change this towel. It's really got scrunchy over this winter. So, thanks for watching.